Hey guys, it's the Real China Sister. I'm back with another video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below. Don't forget to also follow your girl on Instagram at the Real China Sister. My Instagram name is the same as my YouTube name. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys three tips on how to find the love of your life, cause love is just everything, and who doesn't want it? Sometimes it's hard. You know, dating is not easy. Um, being in relationships is not easy. It definitely can take a toll on you sometimes. But you know, being with the love of your life is just everything. Like. Who don't want that shit? Yes, let's get into the video. I'm going to be giving you guys three tips on how to find the love of your life. Number one tip I'm going to give you guys in how to find the love of your life is to stop looking. I know you're sitting there like, how the fuck I'm supposed to find him if I'm not looking for this? Truth be told, it comes to you when you're not looking for it. You know, when you're focused on everything else in your life that's super important regarding yourself and building yourself and finding yourself. Like, when you really dedicate yourself to that and really take some time in that, you know, things find you. You know, not just love, money, you know, wealth, um... All kind of things, self-improvement, when you just decide to sit down and take a good look at yourself. So when I say stop looking, that means stop with the dating sites, you know, um, the looking for people on Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter or whatever the people are on, OnlyFans, um, all of that. Like, <laughs> stop being on these places, like, looking for it, you know? Like, it's one thing to have casual conversation with people, but when you're really looking like, oh, I want a boyfriend, oh, I want a girlfriend, like, the shit is not gonna come to you, and if it does come to you, it won't come to you correct. So, give yourself a second, focus on yourself, and just hold on. A second... My second tip for the ladies and how to find the love of your life, sis, I know it's hard, but you gotta stop fucking with niggas from your past. You gotta stop fucking with niggas that did you dirty, because you know what? I don't know how else to word this, but I feel like are you fucking with niggas from your past, that's saying that you have not learned anything. That's telling the love gods or whoever that you. I have not learned my lesson, I have not learned to love myself a little more, and I'm still engaging in the same bullshit. And they gonna feel like, fuck, I'm sending this girl somebody for her, because she's still doing the same shit that got her caught up last time. So as much as you might still like that dude from your past, you know, as much as y'all might have a good connection or had a good connection, you can't fuck with him. You know, if it ended before, it ended for a reason and you just got to keep that in mind. I know it's not easy because I have been there like you can't stop fucking with a nigga that you just feel like you're like, why can't we get this right? Or like, why can't we just be together the right way? Because that shit ain't meant for you. If it ain't happening, like smooth sailing, like, of course, people are going to bump into issues. But if you're having significant crazy issues, then it's not meant for you. And that's just what you have to come to terms with. As much as you might like this person, it's just not for you. But y'all gotta stop fucking with them niggas from back in 2016. I was getting to know back in 2016 and y'all gotta start a new path for yourself of growth. My third and final sign for the ladies and how to find the love of your life is to focus on whatever it is that you do and thrive in it. Um, Nothing is better than personal growth, you know, starting to love yourself, um you know getting only better at whatever it is you do in terms of work in terms of extracurricular whatever it is that you're into nothing feels better than thriving in that you know and once you start really taking your self-care your emotional care your mental health once you start taking care of all that you will feel so much better and you'll be so invested in yourself that you're not really paying attention to outside shit really don't have an effect on your everyday life you know and a lot of times when you're so focused on yourself here comes along mr right and sometimes you don't even know it's mr right sometimes you know somebody will be sent to you and you'll probably hate them at first so you'll think like fuck is this nigga even trying to talk to me for he ain't my type and he winds up being like your freaking prince or something so ladies you know really just focus on yourself you know this goes back to what i was saying before in the stop looking just focus on yourself focus on your hustle focus on your dreams focus on whatever is important to you in your life that's going to help you become a better woman yes those are my three tips for the ladies and how to find the love of your life um these tips do work um usually you know when we keep looking and keep looking and keep looking for niggas like we just keep bumping into ain't shit niggas so i'm telling y'all you know just pace yourself focus on yourself forget all that extra shit and just you know 
make it do what it do show it you know but just do your thing ladies like just focus on yourself and you're gonna be good but yes those are my three signs um and how to find the love of your life um comment below and tell me what you guys think like this video keep subscribing subscribing to my channel i'm trying to grow my channel um i hope everybody has plans for thanksgiving and they're excited for thanksgiving because i know i am your girl's about to be eating all day um see you guys soon